Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Today is going to be about test and AI. For two years now, we've been hearing a lot about AI and how uh, it can improve uh, our productivity uh, with a promise to be more efficient when writing code. And as a developer, I had the opportunity to test a lot of those tools, but I asked myself a question. What about code quality? What about uh, if my application, how can I know my application is still working? There are no regression. That's why today we are going to talk about a fundamental part of our job, which is test. And tests are important. Tests are vital for your business, but tests are also very time consuming. And time consuming, I believe, I devote at least 25% of my dev time into testing every day. So you could ask yourself this question. Could we be 25% more productive while delegating your test to an AI, while not decreasing the quality of your applications? My name is Valentin. I'm a full stack developer at Takima for two years now, and today, we are going to leave aside end-to-end -end testing, load testing, UI testing, those are subjects for another day. And instead, we are going to focus on unit testing and integration testing. I tried a lot of tools which were pretty good for unit testing, honestly, but I was kind of disappointed uh, about integration testing. So today, I uh, discover a company named Codium AI, which made a plugin, Codium 8, which is available on IntelliJ and Visual Studio. And this plugin, how it works, basically you have a user making a prompt, generate test and refactor this class, a double prompt, made to Codium 8. And Codium 8, what it will do? It will pull the project context, then it will analyze what tests are in your project and how it can cut uh, your prompt thanks to uh, some flow engineering aspects. And then it will try to determine to send a message to GPT 3.5 or 4. And to determine the advantage of this is to determine the, uh, the edge cases. I know it's a lot of theory, so Let's put it into practice and see what it can do. So I just got a, a kind of application in layer, I believe, about uh, banking accounts. I don't know what it does. Uh, I'm in the service class. So I'll try to just make Codiumate generate my test in a simple click. So I have a first tab. A first tab with code explanation, explaining me what the service uh, is doing. So I believe it is creating accounts, depositing, withdrawing, checking balances. And so it uses CRUD operations, OK. There are main functionalities, methods, and their parameters, what they do. And also, I talked about project context. It detects uh, dependencies, like my repository, so it gets my fields, which is, I believe, a good thing. And so I'm trying to generate my test, but it hasn't generated anything yet. So I try again. And then while it's generating, OK, no problem. It, it can take some time to generate depending on the internet connection. So here it doesn't generate any test, yes. Okay. So I try again one last time. And you can see you can use uh, G unit you can use G unit five uh, for oh yeah it generates my test. Cool. So you use G unit five by default. Uh, you can Add a file example, which is a good thing because you can format the test like you want. It automogs by default. And 
there are also another thing you have a tab behaviors coverage this is very interesting because every the majority of the tests you're writing every day are happy path and we often forgot forget edge cases the edge cases are the tests that uh, are potentially not done, but bringing bugs, like the positive and negative amount into an existing bank account. This one go is a good example because here you can see it tests if, if it throws uh, for this account, if we enter a negative account. So what we can do, we can take all tests and put it in their own class, on testing class, so if you have configured your imports correctly, you may be good to go. I add the package. I check that, okay, it's, it's in my test. It's fine. So I have a bit of duplication here. What can we do about it? What we can do is we can refactor this test class. So we get, we have another tab with Codium AI code to generate, to make a prompt, oh, a little fail here, uh, to make a prompt about, about this to remove the duplication. So I made a chain prompt, I made a chain prompt on this one because to save time, and to refactor class, use Mokito extension and rewrite the old class. Why is it important to rewrite the old class? It's a little tip uh, because it can sometimes it generates only the first method, and with this introduction, it will generate the whole the whole test class. So now I have a, a whole test class with nicely generated constants. Uh, I can see uh, my Java conventions are respected. We have the mock annotation from Mokito and the, most of the duplication, some of the duplication is still there, but some of the duplication disappeared. And of course, we can iterate over it, over it and uh, make, uh, remove, remove the duplication. So with the unit test, it's good and all, but can we try with integration testing, which are tests that bring a little more value in certain cases? Yes, of course, and we are going to do it. I'm just entering a big prompt. Okay, we treat that a bit later. The bank account, we are going back to the bank account service and I enter this prompt to generate, to generate integration test. And by the way, if you have a, a better method to, to copy life template like this, uh, I would be glad uh, to hear your explanation because I haven't found uh, anything about the, the shortcuts. Okay, so now we're good to go to generate test integration. I'm launching this and here are the results of the test, the unit test. You can see there are some, it's not, uh, it's not good to go because we have some issues, for example, with the negative bank account because it was generating, uh, it was testing against an exception. The problem here is that our domain code is returning null, not an exception. And what we can do about it, two things. We can change the test or we can discuss with colleagues uh, about the domain and change, uh, change the domain to return an exception. Or we can also go into this code suggestion and see if there are any, uh, any suggestion about throwing an exception and if it's the case, we'll be able to fix it uh, in one click. So now I should have generated the, the different the different uh, integration test, I check it's my integration test class. Okay, I believe we're good to go for this one.
So you see, as you have all the the world test class, you can you can get uh, started pretty easily with some kind of boilerplate code. Now there are any not any errors. What I can do is I think the most um, exciting feature about CodeYourMate is the class extension in terms of test. Um, what I mean about it is I can add some tests uh, directly in one click and this is very good because it can, uh, as I said earlier, thanks to your context project, it can iterate over existing tests and determine what tests are missing and generate those tests. So what I did here, I'm not looking, I'm just adding. Uh, so it, it generated some withdrawing and balance test. And those are tests that were missing from the, our service. So now we can run it. And in the, it detects the existing tests from the happy pass. And also, it explains to us what tests it generated. So it's working. We are good to go in only one prompt. This is quite awesome. So now, it's also possible to do it on controller, of course. I did generate integration tests for endpoints using REST template and write word class, of course. Uh, I just wanted to point the, the execute truncate table. It's a bit, a bit crude, but there are some, uh, it's to show you the respect towards uh, my isolate test prompt. And also, uh, be below the, the last line, you see a construction. Uh, it respects my URLs uh, in my controllers. And also, uh, for those who know Java, you have a REST, uh, REST compliant with a request param uh, in, the, in the URL, so it respects my, my libraries. So finally, what did we do? We did unit test generation, integration test generation in a service, in a controller, which would have taken us about one to two hours time, but instead it would only take one to three, 30 minutes of our time, uh, depending if we are discussing with our colleagues, uh, and I invite you to discuss with your colleagues more than AI. And for a total of 15 to 20 percent of dev time saved in global. And our little stewards love that. So what's great about CodeMate? The developer experience, if you configure your shortcuts correctly, you'll get a good developer experience switching between tabs from top to bottom, and you don't leave your IDE to integrate uh, all what is generated. With pertinent edge cases, about unit and integration tests. It works with many libraries like Spring, SRJ, and many more. I tested also with Kotlin with partial support. It is mock compliant, a bit easy mock compliant too, but it respects code conventions which leads to effective refactoring. It has some limits like technical. I would like to have seen uh, some some auto-completion in IntelliJ, for example, it's available in Visual Studio, but still. Uh, uh, a little word about intellectual property and confidentiality, uh, because uh, please don't, don't uh, respect your company and don't send the passwords uh, to everywhere. So how can you use it? Uh, I think it's a great boilerplate code generator for a new project, a new service, a new test class. But, and it's a real assistant for unit testing and integration testing for, um, for refactoring and complex use cases, suggestion, suggestion two. Wow, yes. You can save at least 15% of your time. However, the AI does not necessarily understand your domain 
and I believe you need to master the concept and the architecture, the, your use cases specific to your domain to be able to, to get, uh, to review the code that is generated because it can be non-coherent and uh, not ready pro for production. So it's an assistant. It can save you time, but it won't replace us. And finally, I would say, please, keep Bowler play for AI because give architecture another try. Thanks for your attention. Any questions? Thank you, Valentin, for sharing this, uh, your experience with this tool. And I would like to go a little bit deeper in the part of the compliancy. And if you know that this has a, let's say, offline version, or you are only working with a cloud, because I will say that that's a very risky thing to share code, even if you don't send your emails. The, if you remember in the beginning of ChatGPT, some of the developers from Samsung share code. So. And if you're in the example that you get about a bank, I don't think a bank will allow to do that. Okay. Um, in the free version, uh, you have some, uh, do I have to repeat the question or? Okay, it's okay, thank you. In the free version, uh, you don't have this, uh, this possibility, but uh, with the business version, uh, you can discuss with the creators, Kodium AI, uh, to know more about, uh, about the, the solution. Uh, given your problem and the solution that can be that can exist to to host to self host uh, a kind of local LLM in order to make requests uh, safely but we can talk about it more yeah. if you want thank you And did you try to, the other way around, first write the test and use this tool to write the implementation? Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny question. Thank you for asking. Um, I discussed uh, with uh, Codium AI, with the employees, and uh, I watched conferences about, uh, about what they made. And it is possible to do a test-first approach. It may not be precise, but you can do a first test-first approach and write the code and modify it with AI. And we are going towards it. Now it's, uh, it's uh, a try, but we are going towards it. But we, we don't necessarily need to, to do the pyramid of tests, for example. We can begin uh, also by, uh, by integration tests and do unit tests when we want to. Yeah. Is there some language which are better supported than others? Uh, can you repeat, please? Is there some language uh, which are better supported than others in terms of results? Uh, it's based on the ChatGPT 3.5 .5 for the free version, four, mostly 4 for the paired version. So it has uh, kind of the same capabilities, I believe. Hello, so, so it's no, uh, not really a question, it's just uh, responding to the gentleman just in the front that, uh, that say that uh, <laughs> in a bank we won't do that. Uh, just for your information at BUILD, so Bank International and Luxembourg, so we are testing, in fact, the usage of AI for coding, but also for testing. So it's, it's really correct to say that sending codes over the internet and to a company that we don't know exactly what we are going to do or what they're going to do with that 
is actually an issue, but it doesn't mean that a bank won't use AI for uh, going faster and to innovate. So well, that was just the uh, small comment. Okay, thank you for your comment. Okay, thank you everyone.